All right, good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is March 22nd, 2023, and I have a really, really amazing dream I want to share with you. I think it's encouraging. And as always, you guys, I ask you to please pray for discernment. Take everything I say to the Lord. I am just simply sharing what I was shown last night. I also want to say that I am in my craft room this morning, and it's a bit messy, but I did try to give you a pretty picture. <laughs> All right, another thing I want to add is when I have a dream, I have two people I go to for confirmation. These two people are my prayer partners. One is Melissa, as you know it, and the other one I've never mentioned, but his name is Woodward. He's a really nice gentleman. He definitely hears from the Lord, and we have been friends for quite a while. Now, when I had this dream, I was given a meaning of it, but there was a few parts I wasn't sure. So this is why I use my prayer partners to... Um, get a confirmation and we all had the same thing so i love it when this comes together and uh so anyways i'm going to go ahead and share this and i'm going to give you the interpretation okay so in this dream i was like um i saw these bleachers that you usually sit on like when you're at a sporting event so all these bleachers were packed with people and like i said um uh, we were all packed with people as if there was some kind of sporting event going on. And I had a feeling that it was football. Now, in these stands of people, there was two identical girls. Okay. They were young girls, but they weren't sitting together. Now, in this dream, I knew that one was fake and one was true. Okay. One was good, real good. The other one was fake, was false. It was um, an imitation. Now, also in these uh, bleachers, in these among all these people, I saw a president of the United States, which was Obama. I saw him standing there. So, let me go on here. Okay, in the dream, he knew who the true girl was, right? And he walked through the people. He picked this little girl up, and he carried her out. And everybody was absolutely amazed that he knew who the true one was, okay? Because you couldn't tell him apart. You couldn't tell who was fake and who was the real one. But he knew. And he picked her up and he carried her out. All right. So after this, everybody was talking and they were hurrying to get around because this event was going to be replayed so that everybody could see it. There was one man that said that he was leaving at 730 and asked if I needed a ride. And I said, no. Now, while I was in the stands, I uh, thought to do a video on this because I was actually only sitting five feet away from what was going on. So I was going to do a video, right? Now, let's see. Let me. Con I have this all in my notes. Let me just skip down to the next part. Okay. Okay, that was the end of that scene. So, in the next scene, I was working in my hair salon, okay? And it was in town. In the, the place that I was in in town, the there was no walls. The whole front was complete windows, just all windows. And my hair salon was in there. And recently I've been told that after I had this break for a while that I was being sent back to work. And this, so this is represents, you know, the last, the last dreams that I've had. That was God, um, I believe, revealing things to me again. Because for a while there, I was, as you guys know, I was, I was off. So I was in this hair salon and it was getting ready to close. So I um, grabbed my paycheck and when I went to get it, it was a lot of cash. I mean, handfuls of cash and I was putting it in my purse. And like I said, the whole front end of the store was all windows and to the right, I saw a Christmas tree in the window. Now there was also people in the back of the room because what I did is I told everybody it was time to go. We had to close up. And when I, I saw people in the back and I walked back there, but they said they were going to stay, okay? They were using that part of the building for something else. So anyways, I got a key out of my pocket or my purse. And when I left the, the salon, after everything was picked up, cleaned up, I locked the door. Now, when I turned to walk up the street, I saw that I was holding a silver barrel revolver, revolver cradled over my right arm. Now, the barrel was pointing down and it was still smoking as if I just used it. When I walked up the sidewalk of my town, it, it seriously looked like a bomb had just hit. Everything was in chaos, okay? It was just completely beat up. And I walked up the street, I turned around, and I came back. So first of all, I want to say is when I was praying on this morning, I knew that the, the little girls, they were symbolic of Israel, okay? And I also know that when God shows me a certain person in a dream, 
that I need to look into like his characteristics. Um, just overall, okay, why did God use this certain man in my dream? Okay, just because you're shown somebody doesn't mean it's literally about that person. It can, or it can just represent uh, the characteristics of that person. I mean, a, a bunch of different things. A president, we have to remember, is symbolic of someone that has a lot of authority. Okay, so you got to take that into consideration too. So here is the uh, interpretation, okay? And I'm going to read through the dream, but I'm going to interpret it as I go. Okay, there was bleachers packed with people as a sporting event being played out like football. This is the world in the political maneuvering plus sneaky plays, fake moves, deception. Okay, that's what this football game is. There were two identical girls but sitting in different places, a fake one and the true one. Like I said, I knew these two girls represented... Israel. One is the Jewish faith and the other is the Christian faith. Because remember, they don't agree with us that Jesus is the true Messiah. Now, also a past president of the United States was there, Obama, which he represents bad news. He knew who the true girl was and went out to went out to her, lifting her up and carrying her out. That is right there against Christianity, taking Christianity out of the game. You see what he did? He took Christianity out of the game. This amazed all people. And there was to be a replay of this, and everyone was going. Okay? Um, let's see we go around here. People were talking, hurrying to get around. Okay? So people were amazed. They were hurrying. Uh, they were talking about it. They were hurrying to, to get around to go and watch this again. And this is just uh, symbolic of confused because of uh, the absence of faith. Uh, one man said he was leaving early at 7.30. This, I mean, is this symbolic of July 30th? And this is where my friend Woodward's dream will connect to that part. So remember that part when I tell you his dream. So again, 7.30, does it represent July 30th? Because of the dream that I'm about to share with you. Now, I went on. If I needed a ride, I was five foot away, okay? Um... Let's see. Oh, yeah, from the guy that wanted to give me a ride. I was five feet away from him. Um, this man could could symbolize Jesus. You know, to give me a ride could mean the rapture. Um, I even thought to do a video telling that this man was only five feet away from me. Well, five is righteousness. It represents Jesus. He is close, and this means that the rapture is close. That was the end of the dream. Um, now, let's go on to the next part. It was interesting. Interpretation to the next dream. Let's see. Next, I was working in my hair salon in town. This is my ministry, okay? This is what I talked about at the beginning of the, the video. This is my ministry. It was time to close and go home, so this means the end of my ministry. It means the rapture will end my ministry. I was given my pay, which was a lot of cash. That represents uh, rewards in heaven. It could be a successful ministry. Um, I picked up, and I told the people that it was time to go. Again, I think that is just symbolic of the rapture. Now, the front of the windows, the store was all windows. So this means that I'm seeing the big picture. I'm seeing the future because that's what a window is symbolic of. It's a vision of what is in front of you. Now, there was a Christmas tree in the window. So that, to me, means that Christ is in the immediate future. There were people in the back using that part for something. And they stayed. So I believe that represents that these people are not going in the rapture. Maybe, these, maybe this is the left behind. I got a key out of my pocket or purse and I left locking the door. Uh, also these, the people in there could be maybe people that rejected Christ. I don't know. Now, when I turned to walk up the street, I was holding the silver barreled revolver cradled over my arm. So this represents strength. Okay. Um, authority, um, through Christ who strengthens me. Now the barrel was pointing down and smoking. So the strength is being used repeatedly, but the barrel down means possibly that my work is done. Now, when I walked up the sidewalk, the town looked like it had been hit by a bomb. It was just beat up and in bad shape. The world was in bad shape, period. Christ, uh, who's been rejected by so many. And again, uh, let me just go share a couple other things here. So again, we know that Obama, he's the one that carries the Christian girl sim symbol out of view. The man saved her and everyone was talking about it. Um, my friend Woodward says, I was specifically shown Obama, so there is a reason. It's got to be his name. Uh, oh, no, that was me. I'm sorry. Good grief, you guys. I've already had to redo this video twice, so forget that part. 
these are just my own personal notes on this side. So my friend here, he says that uh, he believes that Obama represents the man behind Biden administration who is calling the plays, so to speak. And we both agree that, no, he's not the Antichrist, but he is a representation of evil being poured out on America. And even now behind the scenes, he's continuing to pour out evil. Um, I remember the dream of the Jewish boy that had died and came back with a, a message of what he saw. He said that he saw Obama as the one that's going to be part of or in charge or head of, or maybe the one that initiates the, the Gog war. Okay. So, um, my friend goes on to say, Rhonda, please note that the rapture repeats over and over in your dream. The big window in the front of your ministry with the Christmas tree, Christ in the tree represents his wooden cross. All this tells me things will happen soon. It is of the same meaning as your dreams becoming clearer and more obvious as time goes on. And Melissa was on the same line. She said the same thing. The two girls represent Israel, one authentic, one artificial. And she also gave me a... Uh, a uh, scripture to read to you it reminded her of this revelations 3 9 where it says behold i will make them of the synagogue of satan which which say they are jesus or jews and are not but do lie behold i will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that i have loved thee and to me i believe it's showing that obama is part of the synagogue of satan okay and he's also a reputation of evil being poured out on america even now and behind the scenes so that's why I believe I was showed him in particular. We know that there, uh, I mean, I've heard things of new religions trying to come out called Christian and, and different odd things like that. But um, before this video gets too long, I want to read to you the dream that my friend Woodward had and why I felt it connected to that. Because in the one part, the guy was leaving at 730 and it connected with something that... Uh, my friend got so here's his dream he writes to me and says uh i think he yeah then he, he gives me interpretation afterwards what he got from the holy spirit so he says my dream last night i was up early my mother was still sleeping the dog was acting funny he was more interested in the outside he kept running to the window to look out i was trying to feed him but i put the food down and as i did he came and rushed back and then ran back to the the window like he needed to rush back to the window for something he said i looked out the window but i couldn't see anything unusual and something strange at, but something later strange did happen at the window where he saw a bus he said it wasn't a yellow bus just a regular bus and it brought people to our house he said there was three women and two young boys they knocked and he opened the door and they were asking questions about his house, like its availability for sale. They were asking questions about its reliability, its integrity, its worth. The bus had driven off, but now had returned and the women left. He said, then at the end of the dream, this happened. He said, I was shown a calendar, pages that flipped by each showing the sixth. And the last one, the calendar stopped on August 6th. So his interpretation is the dog was at the window, which is a view into the future. The dog was looking worriedly for something to come into view. The dog is a protector. The bus uh, and the women remind me of Rhonda's dream of the camper uh, type pickups driving by the people that were looking for homes that had been left vacant because of the rapture. These ladies were expecting my house to be vacant in the calendar date of august 6 is the date of the 1945 nuclear bomb at hiroshima it may be a date of destruction or rapture the year is unknown his uh the mother sleeping represents the ones that are sleeping obviously and so i asked him how many pages flip by and he said five the next of this you know from april may june july and august so these are the months that uh we're kind of uh paying attention to and so that's why he was like possibly july 30th because we're, uh, I mean, these are just some of the things that we've been getting dreams of and paying attention to is these next few months coming up. So I just thought that was kind of cool how sometimes things go together. And he's one of these guys that the Lord laid on his heart years ago about the number 153, which is the 153 fish. And he said the 153 was clearly represented in his dream. 
Um, the bus was white. This warning comes from God. There was five people, redemption through Christ. Three women, our final existence. This is the Trinity, eternity. And uh, boy, guys, there's just so much more I could tell you because the God, it's so amazing that some of these dreams I've had, it's like now I'm getting just hit with understanding of them now. Maybe later I could do another dream on, on another revelation that I got from an old dream. But uh, seriously, I don't think we have a whole lot longer. If we do, we do. I mean, this is just my thoughts. But um, yeah, something to pay attention to for these next coming months. You know what I mean? And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys, I hope I didn't talk too fast. I was trying to get this all out without taking up a lot of your time so pray on this dream please take it to the lord uh let me know what you guys think and i'm going to pray and ask god what he wants me to name this and get it uploaded i pray for each and every one of you guys i do i plead the blood of christ over each one of you i pray that um you stay strong in the lord stay close to jesus um find time to spend with him so that you can hear him so you can hear you know, let him lead and guide your steps, guys, because uh, these are getting, we're getting definitely in the end days here. We don't know what's happening. So we really need to be having our ears open. So, all right. I love you guys. I pray for you and I'll see you next time.